So hello mga ka-homeschool and thank you so much for joining us. I am Nida De Los Reyes and welcome to Homeschooling Philippines. And we want to greet all mothers, no mga mommies, mama, nanay, mamu, inay. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day po sa inyong lahat, no? Sa ating mga ilaw ng tahanan, mabuhay po kayo. And today, I am thrilled because our guest is not only a mother but a homeschooling mom. She is a multimedia personality, a broadcast Aster, a TV host, an author, and she is an advocate of homeschooling because she believes that teaching your own kid is the best. And she is the mamu of Papu Julius, a hands-on mom to Anya and Neo. So please welcome Miss Tintin Babao. Hi everyone! Magandang magandang umaga, hapon, tanghali, gabi, saan man kayo naroon sa lahat po ng mga nanonood ngayon. Happy Mother's Day! Lalong lalo na sa mga nanay, sa mga dakilang nanay, mga fellow momshies like yours truly and momshie Nida. Kumusta po? Happy Mother's Day! So eto na nga, part ng pagiging nanay natin ay syempre to raise our kids. Syempre pa, at I'm here to talk about how homeschooling has changed our life as a family kami babaw family That's yes right. Nida, happy mother's day sa iyo happy mother's thank day then so thank you so much for thank saying so much. yes to this interview mommy tino and happy mother's day again to you sa family niyo of ba may course. tradition kayo every mother's day Prior to the pandemic, uh, of course, magsama-sama, kumain sa restaurant. Uh, pero dahil nga alam niyo na pandemic I want to protect my mom also. Gustuin ko man na mag reunion kami. Eh, nakakaisang dose pa lang siya ng vaccine. Kami din, ni Julius, uh, nakakaisang dose pa lang. So, we're about to have pa lang our second dose, no? Mm -hmm. And after you get your second dose of vaccine, you have to wait, di ba? A couple of days pa or weeks pa baga Uh, bago talaga mag-kick in at mag-full uh, yung uh, effectivity ba ng vaccine. So I have to protect my mom dahil kami ni Julius, we go to different places and mm -mm. You know, meet other people. So wala yung physical eating out uh -uh. sa restaurant. This, yeah, kami pa naman, hilig pa naman namin familia na kumakain kami sa napas. Sarap, alam sarap yung, kumain. Namin yun. Pero papadalan ko pa rin syempre ng pagkain si mama. Alam niya na yon yung kanyang favorite na peking duck padadala ko pa rin. Wow. And, oo, magbabatian kami at mag-uusap to FB Messenger na lang. Yun, uh -huh. ang, yun ang biggest change na tradition sana namin pag Mother's Day. Mm -mm. All right. So since we are celebrating Mother's Day, we will be talking about yeah. the things na kinatatakutan ng mga mothers when it comes to homeschooling. Kasi mami, yeah. tinaminin natin o nagsisimula tayo, meron din tayong fear. So marami yan. No? Sabi nila, homeschooling yeah. can be scary. Uh, it's a scary thing. But if you are scared yeah. to homeschool, we totally understand mga parents, normal lang po yan. But before we go into it, just a background. So, Mami Tin, you started homeschooling before the pandemic pa, tama? Yeah, yes. With uh, Anya, with Antonia, fondly called Mia. Uh, yan ang uh, gusto niyang nickname niya, Mia. But I want to call her Anya. Uh, she was grade 7. So that was prior to the pandemic. So she's na, uh, ano, incoming grade 11 this coming school year. So yun, grade 7 pa lang ay hinomeschool na namin siya. All right. So since a lot of our students are doing uh, distance learning, no, which homeschool is one yes. option, um, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng homeschool, Mami Tin? Kasi marami pa rin kasi ang hindi nakakaunawa kung ano ba talaga ang pag-homeschool. So para sa iyo, Mami Tin, what is your definition of homeschooling? Although, siyempre, Nida, ikaw ang expert dyan. Dahil ikaw talaga yung matagal na nag-homeschooling compared to me. Uh, pero ako, personally, ang definition ko dyan is the very... Uh, word itself home home so you are schooling your child at home kaya nga homeschooling so for me it's uh being neither your daughter or your son or your kids while you teach them uh, things about life and then uh nagpo-progress siya eh. nag-iiba yung meaning niya through the years and depende sa age ng mga anak mo depende sa magiging interest nila pero for me, homeschooling includes the many other life lessons that are not taught or experienced in a traditional school. Like in a traditional school, uh, ito experience uh, ito ng mga anak ko, hindi naman sila tinuruan paano magluto, paano mag-carpentry, paano mag-gardening, 
Pero paano mag-fold ng mga bed sheet? Paano mag-make ng bed? Pe, paano maglaba? Hindi naman tinuturo sa traditional curriculum yun na school. Uh, uh, unlike ako, sa assumption, meron kaming cooking class, meron kaming sewing class. O, oh, di ba? May typewriting class kami, may handicrafts class kami, may carpentry class kami. Pero dito sa traditional school ng anak ko where she studied, iba, iba yung uh, ano, ang pinaka uh, goal ng school. So when I started homeschooling Anya, it became a uh, life school. <laughs> so for me, homeschooling is a school about life. Yun ang akin definition. Le- uh, Anya learned so many things beyond the academics. That That's my experience and definition of, of homeschooling. Being a complete person, uh, discovering yourself beyond the academics. Yun. Okay. So, I agree, Mami Tino. Sabi mo, nag-iiba ang meaning depende sa age, no? Talagang mag-iiba. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of, um, when you say homeschooling, parang mas marami sa mga preschool, grade school level, no? Pero good thing mm-hmm. na ngayon, dumadami na rin dito sa high school, no? Sabi nga nila, the world is your classroom. So, hindi lang puro academics, True. no? Pati yeah. yung making the bed or carpentry, magluto, yeah. di ba? Gardening. Yes. Nakita ko yung isang video nyo. Parang mm-hmm. meron kayong... Uh, Um, grapes, grapes na yes. nag-harvest kayo, di ba? Yeah. We have and a grape I, garden kasi and people can't believe na how can grapes possibly kaya nga, uh, thrive in Quezon City? <laughs> Adobe pa yung soil. So, and recently, we harvested again and Anya was part of that uh, experience also. So, there are many things beyond the academics and you realize it's so much fun pala to, to homeschool. But not that, ano, I'm putting down traditional school kasi ang tagal din naman nila Anya na traditional school. Yes. But now that I am a homeschooling mom, in-embrace ko na talaga siya. Uh, kasi to each his own eh. Sa amin, homeschooling really work. Uh, hindi man ako nag-start na bata pa sila kasi hindi naman ako nag-start ng nursery pa sila Anya o nag-kinder pa sila uh, nag-start ako malalaki na sinya, sila although si Neon in-start ko last year lang grade 5 siya uh, still di ba still uh, we're happy na na-experience namin that's why nako-compare ko kasi pareho ko na-experience eh yung traditional school na kids physically go to a school and as opposed to homeschooling na nasa bahay lang so mas since nako-compare ko siya Mas alam ko kung paano yung ano, 'di ba, yung maganda para sa akin. That's right. And lahat naman tayo, no, most of us nag-start talaga sa traditional schools. And ang daming mga mm-hmm. magagandang traditional schools around. But Mommy Tin, may yeah. I know, bakit kayo nag-design ni Papa Julius na mag-homeschool? What was the reason behind? Well, uh, at the end of this interview, I will share with you kung ano yung sinulat ni Anya sa isang libro, ayan, na Welcome to My Humble Homeschool dahil siya mismo uh, ang nagsulat about her experience. So it's it's a nice book, no? Mama Anida will uh, tell more about this book. Pero mama share ko sa inyo and let the daughter talk, kumaga, <laughs> let Anya uh, talk through her own words kung bakit kami nag-homeschooling. It's really because of Anya. Pero uh-huh. ang laking influence sa amin, Nida, ng aming good friends na matagal na nag-homeschool, sina, ang friends namin na sina Chinky Tan and Novi Antan. Yung mag-asawang Chinky and Novi who are, are very, very dear friends. So when Anya was going through something and she was not happy anymore dun sa school niya, not because of the school itself, ha, but because of the uh, people or the environment, And Novi gave me this book. She gave, she gave me this book, I Homeschool, and I read it. So nakita niyo naman yung mga post-it, post-it pa. And I read um, yung experiences niya, yung tips niya, pati yung experiences ng kapa homeschooling mom. So when I read it, that really convinced me. We had an entire night when uh, Chinky and Novi were here at home. We had dinner and we talked about homeschooling. Doon pa lang convinced na ako eh, lalo na yung pinadala niya yung book. Lalo na sinabi ko, ay, this is really the time for us to homeschool. That was before the pandemic, ha? kasi may sariling pandemic na pinagdaanan si Anya sa buhay niya, kumbaga, pa, pa sa sariling crisis. So, yun, yun ang, yun ang great influence namin. You really have to, ano kasi, talk with someone na magaling sa pag-homeschool at hindi lang magaling, yun ang kanyang passion at advocacy to convince you to embrace homeschooling. So lahat ng agam-agam ko, doubts, takot, ganyan, kaya ko ba, ganyan, nasagot lahat ni Novi at nasagot ng libro niya. So yun yung malaking factor why we embrace homeschooling as a family. 
Ayun. So nabanggit mo yung homeschool fears, no? Marami talaga mm. yon. So today's topic is about homeschooling fear that moms have. So simula natin do sa homeschool fear number one, Mami Tin. Sabi nila, mm-hmm. I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start. So paano nga ba magsimula, Mami Tin? So like what I said, magsimula ka by talking to someone who's been homeschooling for a long time. So that's what we did. We were blessed to have that long conversation with Chinky and Novi who really influenced us, convinced us to try homeschooling. Plus to read up. So that's what I did. I read her book. Uh, I, I read her book, sorry. I read her book. Yeah, no? And then it further convinced me. Kasi nandito yung story ng mga homeschooling moms. Eh. And then... um. Uh, afterwards, nawala na yung takot kasi mas, if you are armed with the right information about homeschooling, malaking bagay na yun para mabawasan yung takot. So, uh, second is, yung skill mo, kaya mo ba? Oras mo, kaya mo ba? So, lahat ng mga yun, sinagot ko rin sa sarili kong vlog. So, I have a YouTube vlog. Uh, it's my the digital diary of our life no as a family. So, ito na, homeschooling, what you need to know. My journey as a mom na nag-homeschool. So, I did a vlog. So, visit my my channel, Christine Babos channel. Ito, pakita ko lang. I, I'm explaining kung paano. Here in my vlog, in-explain ko kung bakit namin in-embrace yung homeschool at saka mga initial fears ko. So check it out sa aking YouTube channel po, Christine Babos channel. So yun, I shared my experience and my feelings about homeschooling. Uh, kaya ko ang fear nyo is, kaya ko ba? Yan ang mga tanong nyo. May panahon ba ako? Kaya ko ba magturo? May patience ba ako? Uh, uh, does my kid deserve me as, a, as her or his teacher? Yan yung mga fears, di ba? Paano nasagot yon sa aking journey? Uh, prior to ano, prior to the pandemic, sobrang busy ko kasi I really have to go physically to a studio to, to do my show. So I would leave at 6am to do my show. Baka kabalik ako after lunch na, maglalunch, si Shesta. So wala talaga oras. So by then, yung mga anak ko naman, nasa school na ng 8.30am, they would leave the house at 5am. Ganong ka-traffic, guys. Ha? Dalawa silang hinatid. Isa sa Katipunan, isa doon sa malayong libis. So, doon pa lang, ubus na oras nila. Yes. Diba? So, magkiki- magkikita-kita lang kami pag uwi nila sa hapon na sobra nilang pagod, stressed out, tuloy-tuloy sa sofa, tuloy tulog. Hindi mo pa sila makakausap kasi pagod eh. Yes. So, they would take a nap. Magkikita kami dinner na. So, imagine, nagkita kami madaling araw Magkikita kami dinner na, alam mo, yun yung parang buong araw, alam mo naman na nasa school sila, pero uh-huh. hindi mo nakikita on an hourly basis. So, ganun. Uh, pero, the pandemic came and it changed all that. Kasi nasa bahay lang tayo lahat, na lockdown tayo. Yung bunso ko, nag-blended learning muna. Meaning, mm-hmm. blended learning, uh, merong, merong mga lessons na aarali mo without the computer, tapos merong mga lessons na para kang nag attend ng classroom ano rin na classroom uh, subjects kasi nakikita mo yung teacher tapos nandun lahat ng classmates mo ganun eh ganun ang una sa blended learning but then again uh, mamaya ako kwento ka about Mio kung bakit di niya natagalan yung ganong setup na naka-expose siya sa computer every hour uh-huh. for a whole day uh-huh. uh, another kwento yon balik tayo kay Anya so ganun so anong nangyari is uh, when Anya was ready and she really needed a new environment Again, I will read to you in her own words later. Uh, that's when we started embracing uh, homeschooling. Mm-hmm. And we did not make the wrong decision. Kasi we did the right decision. The best decision. When we decided na to go uh, to go and do this, no, to homeschool Anya. Yeah. And it helped her. As in, it changed her life. It changed her uh, composure. Alam mo yon happy kid na siya ngayon, yeah. mas masaya siya, mas at peace. Uh, yun, yun na nangyari sa amin. So, hindi ko naging, ano, hindi naging balakid sa akin na walang oras kasi that time, prior to the pandemic, kahit busy ako doon sa work ko, pagdating ng hapon, si Anya nasa bahay lang, may oras na kami, hindi yung hihintayin ko pa siyang umuwi yeah. after rush hour. Napagod na pagod siya. She would fall asleep on the sofa. Naka-uniform pa siya. Bugnutin. Alam, mainit ang ulo kasi pagod. Pero to pag uwi ko from work, from the studio, after lunch na to ha, we can have lunch together. And kasi nasa bahay na lang siya nun eh. Yes. Uh, again ha, wala, wala pa tong pandemic. Nagsistudio pa ako eh. So yun ang kay Anya. So, 
And then nakita ko na si Anya not only became a happier uh, kid or teen, mas nakakatulog siya ng sapat. Tapos pati skin niya nag-clear. Kasi sa sobrang stress out niya dati sa traditional school, traffic pa lang, stress na siya. Ang dami niyang mga zits, yung pinipimple ba? Yes. Oo, tapos maitim yung ilalo ng mata. Ano yun? So, nakita ko physically, si Anya, maaliwalas bigla. Pink na yung cheeks. So, masaya siya. Hindi dahil, hindi dahil sa sobrang ano ha, naging tragic yung ano niya, experience sa uh-huh. traditional school. Of course, they were good times. Oo, there are good times and there are bad times naman. But, you know, the, marriage is like, ay, uh, homeschooling or finding the right school pala for you is like marriage din eh. I, I, or uh, finding a boyfriend. Dapat compatible ka sa system yeah. of learning. Uh-huh. So, it's it's not that uh, the traditional school was wrong for her. It's just that it was not compatible with Anya. Mm-hmm. And then finally, homeschooling was the one that was compatible kay Anya. Yeah. Ganun din kay Nio. Ganun din kay Nio needs. Yung si Nio na, eh, di, ito na nga, grade 5 siya, no? Nag-lockdown tayo ng March. So, blended learning muna doon sa traditional school. Aha. Si Nio, na-stress siya dahil uh, just like attending a classroom ano lesson, every hour, Uh, merong lesson online. So, mauuna. Di, typical, may, may math, tapos may English, tapos merong uh, snacks break, tapos babalik ulit. So, una, he was able to keep up. Mm-mm. Pero niyon, knowing my my son, knowing his personality, hindi siya makatagal afterwards na na-stress siya, alam mo yun, na nakikita lang niya yung mga tao sa isang maliit na screen na Yeah. Alam mo yun, maingay. Mm-hmm. Maingay kasi classroom setup eh, na nagsalit, sabay-sabay nagsasalita. Tapos may teacher. Iba pa rin kasi person-to-person interaction eh. Yes. So yung nakita ko kay, uh, kay Nio, it was taking a toll. He was losing interest. He was getting bored, losing mm-hmm. interest. Nai- mm-hmm. Naiinis siya na ba't siya kailangan nakababad sa computer? Yes, nakaupo ko ng four ka. hours. Oo, oh, ba diba? So nakita ko naiinis siya. So sabi ko, okay. Uh, maybe it's time to try homeschooling. Kasi sabi niya, bakit si ate, relax lang siya. Alam, wala siya sa harap ng computer. Sabi ko kasi, eh, needs that time. Last year to, ah. last year, di ba? Pandemic na eh. Uh-huh. So, eh. Freedom Academy na si Anya. Hindi na siya yung traditional CFA school. Nag-freedom academy. Uh-huh. Hindi lalong may freedom si Anya. <laughs> Tapos si Nio, alam mo yung stress mo, stress na compare niya yung sarili niya kay Anya. Yeah. So sabi ko, sige, It's time to homeschool. Okay, kid number two will homeschool. So starting August, yata August of last year, oo, nag-homeschool na rin si Nio. Under okay. CFA, siyempre pa. Uh-huh. Catholic Philippine Academy, alam mo, yung nag-homeschooling na sabi ni Nio, why did we just do this only now? I should have been homeschooled since grade one, sabi niya. <laughs> sabi niya, sobrang niyang gustong-gusto na hawak niya yung oras, may freedom, but still he gets things done. But he loves the fact that he can choose what subject he wants yes. to study on a daily basis. May yes. freedom. Hindi ka tulad, di ba, sa traditional school? Okay, sa ayaw mo sa gusto mo, eh, 8 o'clock mat. Yes. Ganyan, uh-huh. English, ganyan. Si Nio, ganyan, oh, what do you want to study today, Nio? What do you want to finish today? I want to do English. I want to do science. You know, alam mo ba, pag sa sobrang dali para sa kanya ng English o science, umpisa niya yung quarter one, dire-diretso na yun ng quarter four. Alam mo yun? Parang minsan dire or kaya, tatapusin niya yung buong quarter. Can you Pwede, yes. Kung kaya, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, kung kaya. So, ay nako, sabi ko sa inid, sabi ko, my, my kids are both happier because of homeschooling. And eto pa, since sabay sila, once they get the job done, whether it's assignment, quiz, or exam, nakakapag-banding na yung dalawa. Yes. They can talk all day, play all day. And then, si Nio would already mix uh, in the middle of the day. Ah. He would make coffee for me in the afternoon. Wow. Ang galing niya gumawa ng cappuccino, barista wow. yung anak ko. Barista. Or, okay, the, barista o gagawa ng pancake. In between, he's able to do all those things for us, the parents. Eh, kung nasa school siya, makakagawa pa yun ng cappuccino sa 3 o'clock, eh, nasa school pa siya noon. Alam mo yun? So, ay, nako, Nids, nakakatawa. A- ako, ako rin, sabi ko nga, wow, imagine Nids noon, kapag uh, nagbabakasyon kami sa family, no, pag Pasko, worried na worried ako, nasistress ako kasi dala namin yung mga libro ni Nio. 
nagbabakasyon ka pero ano kailangan mong sumagot ng ng mga pages for the day biglang may quiz for the day ano yun imbis na nag-enjoy ka yung isip mo na sa bakasyon yes. lang nasa Disneyland lang kailangan mong oh my gosh meron tayong kailangan i-submit kailangan nating magawa to pero dahil sa homeschool di ba homeschool na eh wala nang ganoon pa nagbakasyon yes. ka bakasyon ka yes. wala kang na deadline kaya nga sabi ni Nio bakit lang ta- ngayon lang tayo na homeschool <laughs> kasi sabi ko because i have more time we're just home we're just home so yun yun sorry ah, i talk too much so, <laughs> okay as you were na. saying uh, you were asking me ano may, may tanong ka pa ba about De, so we so we discuss yung homeschool yeah. na fear number one. no i don't yun. know where to start where to begin yun. so hindi yeah. hindi enough that you only read books but it's also good if you ask those homeschooling parents or families yes. no kung ano yung naging journey nila no and uh, nabanggit mo rin kanina na about freedom academy no it's one of the program of catholic philippine academy homeschool for uh mm. for junior high school students no so meron mm. tayong traditional sort of traditional na uh, homeschooling pero meron tayong then freedom academy that's for catholic filipino academy homeschool and yeah. we we acknowledge naman mami tin na homeschooling is not for everyone kaya nga kailangan mag-research tayo mga parents no you read yeah. books no um katulad nung nabanggit ni Miss Tin kanina merong books about parents written by Miss Nubi Ann Tan and then meron naman ding books later we will share about ito namang yes. books written by teens no kasi ito yung first book na sinulat ng teens mismo ano yung ano yung journey nila paano ba talaga mag homeschool sa high school pero let's move yes. on muna mami tino ano ba yung homeschool fear number two ng mga mom she's natin sabi nila hindi ko kaya feeling of inadequate i won't be able to teach my child kasi hindi naman ako teacher mami tin hindi ako qualified so ikaw paano yeah. mo ginawa ito Alam mo, needs kasi we come from a family of academicians. My lolo was a professor in Cavite. And then, yung mami ko was a public school teacher. Her ate was a public school teacher. Her auntie Lina, Diche, tatlo sila magkakapatid ah. They were all teachers sa Salapan Public School, elementary school in San Juan. Tumigil lang naman ang mami ko nung when she had me. Kasi it was very, ano eh, very expensive to hire a yaya, di ba? Mm-hmm. E teacher lang yung mami ko noon, maliit lang ang sweldo. Mm-hmm. So, she raised me. So, growing up na puro academicians, nasa, alam mo, nasa dugo na, nasa jeans namin na magturo. That's why, you know, I, di ba, I, I hosted Sineskwela. It's also a teaching show, di ba? The award-winning yeah. Sineskwela. I was anatom. So, it is inherent sa amin na gusto namin magturo. We love to teach, no? We, ako rin, ganun ako. Parang every time there is a learning opportunity, I seize that opportunity to teach my kids. Uh, pwedeng word of the day, or ano, um, we, we, you have to learn a new word each day. Ganyan. So may dictionary, random, pili ka ng page, o oh, sige, ano yung new word mo of the day? Sasabihin niya, this is the new word of the day. Anong meaning niyan? So pati ako natututo, uy, bago yan, I don't even know that word. What's the meaning? Oh, now, spell it. Ganon, ganon ang mga games namin, always, uh, uh, ano, games that you can learn from. So, hindi na sa akin, hindi ako natakot. Isa lang ang kinatakutan ko actually. Kasi sabi ko, alam ko, kaya ko lahat. Math lang talaga. Kasi yun talaga, Waterloo ko, math. Hindi ako magpe-pretend marunong ako sa math. Sabi ko, doon lang ako natakot. Subject-wise, ha. Pero, sa homeschooling, again, tinulu- tinulungan ako ni Novi. Thank you so much, Novi. Nag-refer siya sa amin ng isang magaling na homeschooling dad din. Si Professor Roland sa Avedra and si Becky sa Avedra. So siya ngayon yung nagtuturo sa dalawa kong anak ng mga hard to uh, hard to learn, hard to compute <laughs> na mga math subjects. Eh, ang hirap naman talaga ng algebra, di ba? Parang, OMG, hindi ko talaga kaya to. Pero, <laughs> oo, may dedicated day para sa tutorials. Online lang din na with Professor Roland, na napakagaling magturo. Talagang binababa niya sa napakadaling uh, way of learning math. Na pati ako, yun ang beauty ng homeschooling, dahil online, di ba? Pati ako natututo. Sabi ko nga kay Professor Roland, OMG, alam mo ba lang high school, di ko talaga siya maintindihan. Yung ibababa mo lang pala sa factors, no? alam mo yun, sa fra- fraction. Ibababa mo lang pala yung numbers sa taas, ilalagay mo sa ilalim, i-divide mo, i-minus mo, ganyan. Ang dali lang pala. <laughs> Ganun. So pati ako, Natuto. Even the moms learn. Yes. So, if you feel inadequate that you cannot teach your kids because you're not good at certain subjects, to the rescue naman. 
ang mga tutors na wala namang problema sa online tutorials eh. Even homeschooling kids can go and have online tutorials like in my case. Hindi ko aakong inyong mat kasi hindi ko siya talent. Pero the rest, okay sa akin. English, lahat, lahat ng yan. And the beauty of it, Nida, is that my kids, thank you Lord, are so intelligent that they are so independent. Ganito, do you need help with any of the subjects? Nay, kaya ko ito ma. So, mommy, so kahit ano, gagawin nila muna, pag hindi na nila kaya, mommy, I need your help. Usually, Filipino yon At anong meaning nito? Pakitranslate. Yeah. Tsaka yung ano, ar- araling pag AP, Yes. Yun ang challenge. Eh, buti na kami ni Julius Sanay Tagalog kasi broadcasters kami, di ba? O Julius, ayan, o mala ano to, pol- politics. Sabi ko, politics and government. O, ito na bahala dyan. O, di ba? Yung tungkol sa Congress, tungkol sa Senate. Ah, ito, kaya ko na to. Lapu-lapu Magellan, o, akin to. So, kami ni Julius, we take turns. Basta kailangan na nang i-translate sa, tag- sa English yung Tagalog na may hirap. Andun kami para i-translate, para maintindihan nila. So, yung mga bata namin, only ask help when they need help. They are independent. They are otherwise very independent and they get the work done. So thank you, Lord, kasi our kids make homeschooling easy for us. Kaming mga nanay at tatay. Kaming nanay at tatay. Yun. So if you feel inadequate, it's okay. It's a normal feeling. Marami yes. talaga ganyan yung feeling. Mm-mm. Anong solution? Pag feeling was inadequate kasi ibang mga subjects, find a tutor and find a good tutor. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Yun. So, okay lang. Okay lang yung mga fears. Di ba? Normal yun. Pero kaya nyo yan. That's right. So, kina- oh. kan- kanina nabanggit mo, no? Nasa dugo, no? Or nasa jeans nyo na yung magturo. However, mm-hmm. uh, parents or mom, mothers, especially mga mothers, no? Uh, we just need, they just need to realize na tayo naman talaga ang unang nagturo sa mga anak natin, di ba? Oh, Sino ba oh nag- ABC. Nag- one, oh, ABC. Three. Oh, correct, oh. di ba? So, tayo, tayo talaga naman. yung teacher, mm-hmm. first teacher ng ating mga anak. So, oh, natatakot oh. lang sila, ma'am, she, kasi high school na, no? So, d- dito napapasok yung next homeschool fear natin na I don't know how to teach the difficult subject especially math hindi ako expert dyan oh. so ang solusyon oh, yes. is humanap ng ibang taong makakatulong like a tutor or yeah. other parents naman would um, be creative and resourceful na maghanap ng video let's say ang topic ay polynomial eh ma'am she nakalimutan ko na yung polynomial na yan Tapos, YouTube YouTube, YouTube di ba? so may solusyon oh. maghanap ka ng video uh, that will help your child better understand the let's say topic yeah na algebra or whatever it is and then yun ang ibibigay mo sa yeah. mga anak mo. Buti nga ngayon may YouTube na need eh. Yes. Years ago, paano yung mga homeschooling mom like 20 years ago or 10 years ago Kailan nga ba na usang homeschooling sa Philippines, Nida? Nakiyurus um, ako bigla. Oo. Actually, sa Catholic Filipino Academy, they've been uh, with uh, si- with homeschool mga 15 years na sila. Oh, so, ang tagal na pala. Yes. 15 years ago ba, may YouTube na? Meron na ba ano? <laughs> Parang wala <laughs> pa yan. <laughs> oh, di ba? Mas mahirap para sa homeschooling yes. moms 15 Uh-oh. years ago. Pero ngayon, it's so easy to Google and to, ano, to, di ba, watch videos on YouTube. Which my two uh, children also do. Kapag hindi available, let's say, yung si Mr. Saavedra, nag-google sila. Tapos yes. nakukuha naman nila. Ang dami nagtuturo sa YouTube. So, yun lang needs. They are not alone. So, don't don't be afraid, uh, mom she's. You will not be alone. Even if you feel inadequate, there will always be angels helping you sa dami ng mga nag-homeschool mom. So, do not be discouraged. Diba? That's right. And isa sa mga nag-attract sa akin dito sa homeschool community when I started is that napansin ko, Mami Tin, yung mga parents as well, uh, they are very eager to share yung resources nila. Ang daming Facebook pages na, ang daming resources na babasahin mo na lang, libre, no? Yeah. True, true. There are so many. Kaya with, sa age ng internet, sa dami ng pwede yung pagkuhanan ng mga solutions Ay, nako. Mas madali actually mag-homeschooling. Oo, yun. Okay. Now, let's go to the next fear, no? Ang sabi nila, I'm afraid to homeschool kasi expensive yata yan, Mami Tin, para sa mga budgetarian moms out there. Mahal nga ba ang pag-homeschool uh, sa experience mo? 
Nako hindi. Nako eto na nga. Okay, so uh, again, ah, na to put down traditional schools. Alam naman natin kaya mas mahal sa traditional school kasi maraming sinesweldohan ng mga teachers. Maraming upkeep. Di ba? Maraming overhead. Mm-hmm. Uh, so my my son and daughter, Anya, Neo, uh, used to ano uh, go to a traditional school. Si Anya nag-international school pa na 240,000 a year. Oh to, wala my! Pa dun. Siyempre, may, may allowance, gasolina, yeah. libro, uniform. Iba pa yun, ha? Mga special activities. Yes. So, siguro, round up mo na. Gawin mo na 250,000 a year. So, sanay na si Julius na yon For the two kids, ha? For the two kids. Tapos, grade 7, grade 7, si Anya, uh, nag-start. Nagulat si, eh, si Julius, sabi niya, totoo ba to? Si FA to, ha? 26,000. <laughs> Eh, ganun, ganun yan eh. Parang 28 or 26. Ano yan? Monthly ba yan? <laughs> Quarterly? Sabi ko, hindi. One year na yan. <laughs> Bakit? Sabi ko, ganun parang yung mga tanong. Pag nasanay ka sa 250,000, tapos biglang 26,000, 28,000. Sabi ko, paano nangyari yun? So sabi ko, syempre, module, ipiprint lang, kukunin mo sa CFA, ganyan-kanyan. Tapos, ikaw na bahala sa internet connection mo. Tapos, tayo ang teacher. Sabi ko kay Julius, nun, unless swelduhan mo ko, pwede rin. Swelduhan mo ko per subject para aabot ka rin na 250,000. Kaya <laughs> nagbibiruan kami. So, ang talaga i-invest mo ngayon is time, which is very precious and ano siya, uh, ano, at uh, the valuable. So, yun. So, ang laki ng natipid. Tapos, yun na nga, Pati gasolina. Uy, nasa vlog ko yan, guys. Yung ex- experience ko nga, journey as a mom, panoorin nyo. Kinuwento ko sa vlog, magkano natipid namin sa gasolina. Tapos, uh, magkano natipid sa si Yung alam yung allowance ni Anya sa pagkain sa kantin. Mga ganyan. At marami pa. At yung time. Ano natipid mo sa oras? Ganyan. Sa traffic. Yung, so, oras, traffic. Ganyan. Stress. Nawala yung stress. So, yun. Uh, Mangugulat kayo. Tapos si Neo, di grade 5, no? Grade 5 last year. So, syempre, nasanay na kami. Again, 200 plus thousand, ganyan. Tapos si Neo, grade school siya, mas mura pa. <laughs> pa sabi ko, o, oh, eto na, papo, bayaran na si Neo. Ah. Eto na, buong taon na to. Magkana? 22. <laughs> 22! <laughs> Oo, 22. Very affordable. At, take note, sa CFA, pwede pang... Uh, uh, semestral, di ba? Twice a year ka magbabayad, pwedeng quarterly, may options pa, di ba? Para sa mga nanay na, syempre, mahirap pandemic, maraming nawala ng trabaho, nalugi sa negosyo, so kailan tipid-tipid. So, meron ganun na very flexible sa bulsa mo. Eh, mag-a-adjust sa'yo yung, yung homeschool. So, yun ang natipid namin, ano, at, at saka, alam mo ito pa, yung ibang homeschooling parents, tuwang-tuwa ako, bilib na bilib ako, kasi malamari kondo talagang Itsurang school. Alam mo, pag, nung nagpunta ako sa bayan nila, Nubi, sabi ko, wow, talagang may mini school inside their home. Sabi ko, parang hindi yata ma-achieve yan dito sa bahay kasi, alam mo na yung bahay namin, parang museum, no? So, pero, to each his own nga eh. You yes. don't have to have a mini, mini school inside your home. Kasi, kwento ko lang sa inyo, for Anya and Neo, ayaw nila ng ganun because it reminds them nga of their school. Mm-mm. Ayaw nila ng ganun. It doesn't work, but hindi sila motivated. Mm-mm. Gusto nila para lang na sa bahay talaga. Mm-mm. So they can do it sa sa, sa dining, mamaya nandoon na sila sa cafe bar, Mm-mm. mamaya nandoon na sila sa rocking chair, nagbaba sa rocking chair, re-relax ganyan. Kasi nga importante is it should fit the personality of your child. Yes. Kung ano yung technique that works for the child, huwag mong i-impose sa anak mo na kailangan mukha tayong school setup, ganon. Kung hindi naman siya mamomotivate to learn sa isang school high tech setup, Wag, wag pilitin. Kasi na-realize ko sa mga anak ko, mas nag sila, mas naging productive sila nung nakita nila yung sarili nilang method of learning. And I respect that. Kasi importante, pag nakita mo na yung kanilang uh, ano, sagot sa mga books, tsaka quizzes, shocks, perfect. Ay, shocks, isang mistake. Ay, shocks. O di, ibig sabihin, tama yung ginagawa natin. So, ganun yun, guys. Uh, yun ang natipid namin. Malaking-malaki natipid namin. Pero ito na ngayon, since wala silang allowance, wala silang ma-save. Hindi yun yung problema. Kasi wala na silang 20 pesos, wala 50 pesos. This is where uh, the chores come in. ba sabi nila, wag babayaran ng bata sa chores. Kasi chores yan eh. Yan eh, pabahagi ng karakter nila, karakter development. Hindi dapat, hindi dapat siya i-consider na trabaho. Pero saan namin kukunin yung kumbaga rewards nila? Oh, ba kung, kung di, Kasi wala nang ano eh, walang schooling eh. 
So ngayon, every day, ito needs every day, basta magawa ni Neo ang lahat ng sumusunod, magdilig ng plants, mag-mop or kaya magwalis or magtanggal ng leaves doon malapit sa plants, maghugas ng plato, either lunch or dinner, di kailangan both, lunch or dinner, tapos uh, gumawa ng uh, chores like magluto, gumawa ng kape, mga ganun yung little things. Tapos the next day, ano, punasan mo yung electric pan, alam mo yun, yung mga ganun, punasan mo yung base ni daddy. So may kanya-kanya silang toka. Si Anya, dito ka, ikaw ang tagalinis ng piano. Uh, tagalinis ang lahat na nasa ibaba ng piano. Ikaw niyo, dito ka. Binibigyan namin sila ng 50 pesos to 100 pesos. Yun ang parang sweldo nila. Kasi sabi namin ni Julius, kami ni Julius, we work, di ba, as TV host. And we get paid. That's our salary. So kayo, yan ang work nyo. And then you get paid. That's your salary. So ngayong pandemic needs, natuto sila maglaba. They now wash their own brief, panty, pambahay. They wash the, and then they rinse it and then they fold it. Yun. And they get paid for it. Parang ano talaga, work for them. Yun ang ano, yun. So, nakatipit na kami bilang mga magulang, pero naturuan pa namin yung mga anak namin yung value ng hard work and labor yes. and get paid for it. And now they have their own like this, their like this ano, needs that they put their sweldo inside. Wow. It's an organizer, a bill organizer. So, pag meron sila work done, they put their 100 pesos inside, their 50 pesos, ganyan. then you teach them to save. Yes. Ito na needs. Sabi ni Anya, can I make it my business? So wow. si Anya ngayon, entrepreneur na, she sells like this, na personalized. Wow. So she sells it for 200 pesos and then you can have your name here uh, embossed yan, uh, para sticker embossed. Ayan. So meron siyang kita dito per wallet na bebebenta niya na pwede niyang isave. Tapos natuwa ako need sa una niyang kita from her business hindi ko tinuturoan to ha, kasi meron niya savings, may charity, may tight. Bahala siya. It's, alam mo, mas marami ang nilagay niya sa charity. Wow. Nilagay niya doon yung 100 pesos, sa savings nilagay niya 50. So, without teaching her that, so doon ako natuwa na mas may puso si Anyang tumulong dahil mas malaki ang nilagay niya doon sa, sa, ano, sa pocket na charity. charity. Alam mo yung needs, di ba sobrang nakakatuwa? Yes. Kasi, yun ang mga bagay na hindi tinuturo sa school. Kaya nga dapat lahat ng school may curriculum, no? Nang parang ginagawa namin ni Chinky, financial literacy Mm-mm. as a subject. Mm-mm. As a subject. Yun. So, going back, nasagot ko ba yung talong? Yes. <laughs> yung tipid? Nasagot yes, yes. Ba? Uh, oh, absolutely. So, matipid talaga pag nag homeschool especially if you're coming from a um, international school, no? And... Parang nai-imagine ko naman, Mami Tim, no? Parang ang sarap naman yata talagang mag-aral dyan kung parang museum Oo. yung bawat nakikita mo, no? Teka muna, gusto ko muna dito sa bar. Gusto ko muna sa ganito, no? Kasi ang ganda-ganda naman ng bahay yeah. ninyo. It stimulates the senses, kumbaga. Uh-oh. Kasi punong-puno ng, punong-puno ng art yung bahay namin, di ba? That's right. Kaya nga, may, may pagka-artist yung dalawa naming anak. Si Neo is into digital art now. Tapos si Anya naman uh, is really into writing. And she's writing her first novel. Wow! <laughs> ano, guided by guided by Miss Marian of Freedom Academy. So, yes. alam mo na, dal artist, dal na artist yung dalawa naming anak. Hindi talaga sila pwede sa traditional school. Now lang namin na-realize talaga ni Julius na dahil may pagka artist yung dalawa naming anak, alam mo yung artists have their own moods, di ba? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kailangan nasa mood sila, meron silang minsan mental block, artist block. Pag nasa traditional school, hindi maintindihan yun. Di ba? Kailangan nasa mood yung bata. Pero pag homeschooling, binibig, mas merong adjustments ba? Di ba? Para sa mga anak. At saka dito yeah. natin nakikita, nagkaroon tayo ng time as parents na mal- malaman ano ba yung personality style ng anak ko. Oo, oo. correct. Mm-hmm. Mas nakilala namin ang dalawa naming anak uh, p- far deeper. no Iba yung depth ng pagkakilala mo sa mga anak mo. Pag nandyan lang sila lagi at kasama mo mm-hmm. at nakikita mo na happy sila dahil hindi ka, uh, hindi mo sila pinapahiya. Alam mo yun, wala sila. Yes. Hindi sila, na- hindi sila na- insecure sa ibang mga bata na pwedeng makompare nila yung sarili nila. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about Nida later. Uh, kasi ito naging fear ko rin to dati. Paano na yung socialization? Naging yes. fear ko to dati. Naging, naging tanong ko, paano kung i- yung bat- bata, yung anak mo, ikaw at ikaw lang nakikita, walang nakikita ang ibang bata, paano yung socialization skills niya? Alam mo, ano, needs, si Anya, si Anya, no, grade 7 ko na siya pinasak sa homeschooling. Meron silang once a week meeting sa CFA. Mm-hmm. Uh, pwede pa kasing lumabas noon, di ba? Pwede pa kasi physical ano pa sila uh, uh-huh. classroom mm-hmm. every Wednesday. 
So, si Anya, na- na-realize ko, whether or not there's a physical classroom setup or online lang or mag-isa siya, kasi inherent na sa kanya ang maging sociable at saka people person. Mm-hmm. Hindi naging balakid yung homeschooling. Kaya si Anya, kahit na sabi mong one year na nasa loob lang ng bahay, once nilabas mo yan, kaya niya makipag-usap sa kahit sinong tao. Mm-hmm. Eloquently. Mm-hmm. Eloquently. Mm-hmm. Na, mm-hmm. May pinagbalahan ba? <laughs> Alam mo, needs <laughs> Panoorin mo yung live online ukay-ukay ni Anya, parts 1 and 2 sa YouTube ko. Ay, namangka talaga si Anya. Siya na talaga nag-host. Walang script. Walang script. Pati si Nio, yung maliit namin. Na, wow, revelation to ha. Ay, alam mo yun. So, pag yun yung personality talaga ng kids mo, kahit walang socialization, kahit walang classmates and all, yun talagang personality ng anak nyo. Oo. ba? Diba? Oo. At saka dito din lumalabas kung ano pa yung pwedeng, parang kakayahan pa ng mga anak natin, no? Nabanggit mo si Anya, nagkaroon siya ng business because of just uh, just an idea, no? Parang nagsimula sa lang idea, pero pwede palang gawin kahit na nag-homeschool ka. Tapos, uh, yes. sabi mo na, without you teaching her about charity, mas marami siyang nilalagay doon. I guess, na pipick up kasi ng mga bata yung ginagawa natin as a parent. So, probably they saw you and Papu Julius na um, nagbibigay rin kayo sa charity. So, napipick up nila, nagagaya nila yung mga ganong uh, ginagawa ng parents, right? At saka hindi lang seeing us, involved talaga sila. From uh, like last year lang ito, kwento lang last year, January, we went to Batangas, so sumabog yung bulkan. Pumunta kami doon as a family, as in nabigay kami ng kumot, lahat ng kailangan nila. Physically, nandun sila to give the kumot, to give the food sa mga uh, ano mga nasalanta, no, na apektuhan sa Batangas. They're always involved. We have two villages sa Gawad, Kalinga, dito sa Quezon City. They're always involved. Every time my birthday si Anya, she would spend her birthday with the Gawad, Kalinga families namin. 42 of them. Wow. So, they, alam mo yan, they, yeah, they, don't miss mo physically, we go there. Uh, except, of course, during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Nagpapadala mm-hmm. na lang kami. Mm-hmm. And then, online, nakikita namin sila sa Messenger, sa Zoom, kasi nga bawal na yung ano, gathering. No? So, mm-hmm. yun. So, they are involved every step of the way sa aming mm-hmm. projects ni ni Julius. That's mm-hmm. why ganun din si Anya. Hindi mo na kailangan paalalahanan. Oo. And then nabanggit mo rin kanina yung socialization. No? So prior to pandemic, uh, may mga paraan no? paano magkaroon ng socialization ng ating mga anak. Yeah. So if you're with uh, CFA Homeschool, merong once a week na online class. no? However, Uh-oh. hindi lang naman doon uh, nalilimitahan ng bata sa socialization kasi pwede yeah. rin naman siya mag- magkaroon ng socialization sa ibang uh, members of the family, mga tito-tita, mga cousins, no? mga lo lot lola, mga kapitbahay, pag lumabas or pag sinama mo sa grocery, sa banks or oh. kung saan man. So, nagkakaroon din ng socialization yung ating mga anak. Yes. Oo. Julie Lee. That's Julie Lee. right. Tsaka ano, ikaw, kayo as parents, kayong social circle na anak, kayong best friends, kayong barkada na yung anak. Just engage them in meaningful conversations each day. Ask what they're doing. Ask ko anong uso sa TikTok. Ask ko anong uso sa Spotify. Diba? Uh, ask them what they're watching on YouTube. Sinong in na in na YouTuber? Ano bang content niya? Yung mga ganyan. So by showing that you're interested in what they're doing and what they are watching, what they are listening to na music, yan. Kayo na yung barkada ng anak nyo. No judgments. Talagang embrace what what they are what they like what they are doing and show interest di ba yung talagang totoong interest sa kanila wag niyo kokontrahin yung mga bata sakyan niyo na na sakyan kasi pag kinontra mo iba na yung mga bata ngayon magka-clam up yan mag mag ano yan yung shell nila tapos yes. mag- maglalagay yan maglalagay ng wall di mo na sila makikilala That's pero pag right. ini-engage mo sila in-engage mo hindi mo kinokontra hindi mo gina judge mas mag-o-open up sa mga anak ninyo. That's right. Kaya ako ngayon, Mami T, naging army na rin ako kasi ang anak ko ay BTS fan. <laughs> yung mga mami sa akin <laughs> na mga BTS. Army. Ayan. So, army, ar- army mami na rin ako dahil ang aking anak eh, yan, sobrang fan <laughs> ng ganyan. <laughs> O, oh, yung anak ko, hindi ma-K-pop. Hindi siya diehard K-pop. Mas K-drama siya kasi ang nanay K-drama. So, sabay, sabay kami ni Anya. Pareho namin gusto si Park Show Jun. So, oh! lahat ng Park Show Jun, lahat ng PSC Fight for My Way, ganyan, pareho na sabay namin pinapanood. Kaya nakikita ko rin yung preference ni Anya sa cuteness yes. ng mga guys. Uh-uh. Yung values niya about relationships. When you watch ano talaga K-drama or anything, anything together with your children and you allow them to talk about the characters, ganyan, you will see 
ko anong personality nila, yung views nila about relationships. Lalo na si Anya, di ba, 16 na. So, yes. alam mo yung type ng guy na gusto ni Anya. Makilaman mo. So, it's really, sabi ko sa'yo, everything is a learning opportunity talaga. That's right. Oh. That's right. Ang galing, ang galing, no? And let's go yeah. to the last fear, Mami Tin, yung homeschool fear number five. Sabi nila, yeah. I don't know how to homeschool and work at the same time or do by business. Kasi yung iba, work from home. However, nung yeah. medyo lumuwag-luwag na, pinabalik na sila sa office. So, so paano namang gagawin nila? So, katulad mo, Mami Tin, di ba? You are a mompreneur. So, paano nga ba yeah. ginagawa ito? Yung time management. Time management is the key. Pero ako naniniwala ko na pag gusto mo, laging may paraan. Kung ayaw mo, laging may dahilan. So, pagdating sa time management, pasahan kami ni Julius. O, pag busy ako sa time na to, o, ikaw muna Julius to, pwede ka ba dito? Ay, may patrol ako. O, kaya meron akong radio. O, sige, after, after, toka, toka mo to, one hour, ako one hour. Yung ganun, nag-uusap kami lagi kung sino nakatoka sa mga, mga subjects. And then, um, so th- that's when I realized namin, there will always be time for something. Basta iyan mo lang, ipinpoint mo lang kailan mo gagawin, kailan ang deadline. So yun, uh, although homeschooling talagang requires two talk, no? Kaya hands-on kasi ikaw na nga teacher ng anak mo eh. Still, mapag-uusapan nyo ng anak mo kung ano yung uh, time na maibubuhos niya for the subject, for learning. Mag-agree kayo doon at basta pinramis niya na mag-deliver niya on time yung kanyang mga requirements sa school okay na kayo doon. Huwag mo na siya pipilitin ng maya't maya para kang helicopter. Tapos mo na ba? Mamaya, one minute after, nasan ka na? <laughs> after a one minute, tapos ka na. <laughs> Nakakainis yun. Di ba doon at niya helicopter hovering mo? Mamaya't maya, sinicheck mo yung anak mo kung tapos ako ka yun, na. Ako yun, ako yun. <laughs> ako sa akin, di mag-work sa dalawang anak ko yun. Sasabihin na na anak ko, at one point, ganun ako ah. Yung si Anya pa lang. Wala pang niyo. Si Anya pa lang to grade 7. Chill, mom. Chill. May tinatapos lang ako. Don't worry. Meron pa akong ganito. Sige ka, if you don't finish that, i-repeat mo yung grade. Lahat nag-move na sa grade 8. Ikaw, maiiwan ka sa grade 7. May ganun pa akong panakot ng una. <laughs> Then I realized, nag-relax na ako na natatapos naman, nag-move yes, up naman. Yes, oo. Ano o, ah, okay. O, so, cool na ako. I mean, relax. Mas relax na ako ngayon. Hindi na ako yung maya't maya. Tapos ka na ba? Ano na? Ano, nasan ka na? Ganun eh. Relax na ako ngayon. Kasi nga, mas, mas gamay mo na eh. Pag yes. mas gamay mo na, Uh-oh. yun. Kerina. That's right. So, sa simula lang praning ang mga homeschooling, ma'am. Kasi syempre, no, kung merong adjustment yung mga bata, tayo din, parents, may adjustment din. Kasi all of our Oo. lives na ang ano ang orientation natin is traditional school tapos bigla tayo mag-homeschool. So, syempre, may adjustment yeah. din tayo. However, yeah. ngayon, di ba, ang dami nang naging homeschooling families because of the pandemic. Parang naging accidental homeschooler sila. Yun yung tawag ko. So, ano yung important yeah. advice that you can give to the first-time homeschooling parents, Mami Team? For the first-time homeschooling parents out there, uh, whatever your fears are, uh, are it's okay. No? They're natural. It's everybody's fear. Lalo na kung hindi ka sanay, di ba? Wala ka namang pinanggagaling na experience. Eh. Pinagdaanan ko rin po yun. Natakot ako if nag-doubt ako kung may sapat na oras ako. Hindi na realize, pwede pala na magkaroon ng sapat na oras. Uh, nag-doubt ako kung kaya ko ba ang mga difficult subjects. May solution naman. Humanap ka ng tutor. O, oh, wag mo akuin. Superwoman ka nga. Pero, hindi naman lahat, no? <laughs> o, oh, i- ano, i-delegate mo sa mga yes. taong expert. O, oh, di ba? Huwag mo na akuin. Masistress ka lang. <laughs> Ganun eh. So, yun. Pagdating sa Uh, tanong nyo kung kakayanin ko ba? Uh, hindi naman ako magaling sa mat. Oh, yan ang sagot ko. Pangatlo, mahal eh. Hindi mahal, guys. Ay, nakuday. Sabi ko nga sa sa gasolina pa lang, nakakasave kami 15,000 a month simula na mag-homeschool. Ang mahal kayo ng gasolina. Lumalapot yes. yung ba ng gasolina. Oh, pero tignan mo, di ba? And yung mga iniwan ni Anya at saka ni Nio na mga skwela, lalo na ngayong pandemic, tinutulungan pa rin namin yung mga ate and kuya sa mga project nila. Like now, we helped yung MI school, yung mga ate and kuya na nawalan ng, alam mo, walang batang pumapasok eh. Nawalan sila ng customer sa canteen. Yes. So we would, we would order food from them sa mga ate and kuya. Mm-hmm. Recently, nagkaroon sila ng Easter plants, yung, uh, yung Easter 
Easter, plant na may candle pa that you light up as a family during uh, Easter. So, sinuportahan din namin yung mga atin kuya. Bumili kami ng maraming plants and we gave them to uh, our friends na family. So, So, kahit iniwan mo na yung traditional school, doon pa rin lumaki yung mga anak mo. Find a way pa rin to keep in touch with them sa yes. mga atin kuya. And help them during the pandemic. Padala pa rin kayo ng ayuda, bigas, or whatever you can. Hindi porkit nasa comforts na kayo ng homeschool, nakalimutan nyo na yung mundong pinanggalingan nyo. So, ganun mm-hmm. kami. Mm-hmm. Alam nila, Anya, Neo, na ito yung mga atin kuya ng MI, tutulungan natin. Tapos, gawan nyo ng video para encourage yung iba na bumili ng food, bumili ng plants. Ganun ang ginagawa ng dalawa naming anak. Mm-hmm. So, ayun. Uh, nasagot na natin, no? Yung time, yung kakayahan natin, yung kumahal ba? O, oh, hindi mahal. O, oh, yun yung tatlo, di ba? Na topics covered natin today. Uh, That's yun. right. So, That's right. So, ngayon na dalawa na sila na hino-homeschool mo, uh, what mm-hmm. are you thankful for? Kasi hino-homeschool mo silang dalawa. I'm thankful and I honor Novi and Shinky. Really. Life-changing. The greatest influencer sa amin pagdating sa homeschool. Kung di siguro namin sila nakausap, uh, medyo lost kami. Hindi namin alam. Kasi ang magiging source ko lang is mga libro. Hindi yung talagang tao that I yeah. know. No? Mm-hmm. Mga libro, YouTube, conventions, ganyan. Pero iba talaga pag meron kang kaibigan na makakausap na mag encourage siya. Nandun yung trust eh. Diba? Nandun yung trust. Mm-hmm. And then, thankful ako sa book ni Novi. Thankful ako, in a way, no, that pandemic happened. Okay? Alam natin, marami na mamatay. Pero alam nyo na what I mean, mga and daddies. Thankful ako, in a way, because sa pandemic brought us closer as a family. We are now stronger than ever and more closely knit as a family. Kasi, tingin ko, kung hindi nagka-pandemic, si Neo nasa traditional school pa din. Mm-hmm. Kasi wala, walang, walang pinto na magbubukas na itry niya ang blended learning. Walang pinto na magbubukas na mag-homeschool. Mag-homeschool na siya. Pero si Anya tuloy-tuloy. Kasi nga, tagal na siya nag-homeschool. Eh. Ahead siya, ahead siya kay Neo. But thankful din ako na nangyari yung pandemic. Kasi pareho na silang nandito lang sa bahay at in homeschool. Thankful ako sa CFA, kay Brother Bo. Kasi ang CFA ay talagang every step of the way, ginaguide yung mga anak natin hindi nakakalimutan ng Diyos, nandiyan ng uh, mga ating mga ano no, online na sama-sama, like yung moving up this coming weekend, no, na merong mass, ganyan. So, hindi nakakalimutan ng CFA yung role ni God sa buhay natin. No? Uh, dapat center pa rin ang life natin. Kasi yung ibang homeschool, yun yung factor na wala, di ba? Yung mga international homeschool. Wala silang religion, wala silang Catholic ano, uh, subjects. So, mm-hmm. for me, very important yung factor kasi devout Catholics kami. Buti na lang may CFA Uh, tapos, um, ano pa ba, the role of God. Uh, CFA introduced Freedom Academy. I'm also very thankful kay Brother Bo. Naisip niya yung Freedom Academy. At si Anya ko is one of the ano pilot, ha? pilot students sa Freedom Academy. Ang galing guys, because the students curate their own curriculum according to their passion, their skills, their strengths. Si Anya, being the artist that she is and being the writer that she is, lahat ng subjects niya curated dun, naka, ano, sunod sa passion niya. Saan ka naman nakakita ng ganun? Freedom Academy lang nakaisip noon, di ba, needs? Yeah. So yung mga subjects na nasa tingin ni Anya, hindi yun ang strength niya, walang, walang saysay sa kanya na hindi siya dun mag-excel. Wala yun sa curriculum niya. So, ang galing ng Freedom Academy, naisip ng CFA yon mm-hmm. So, now I have the best of both worlds. Anya, turning grade uh, 11, studying under the Freedom Academy um, setup. And then, Neo, CFA pa rin, homeschooling pa rin. Although, a bit iba, no? Iba yung curriculum or mm-hmm. teaching, pra- teaching method, no? Mm-hmm. Iba mm-hmm. compared sa Freedom Academy. But still, they're both Homeschooling. homeschooling. That's right. And I'm, I'm sure, so thankful. That's right. Ang dami nating uh, ipagpapasalamat na no, kung bakit tayo nag-homeschool. Pero I'm sure, Mami yes. Tino, nung bago ka mabuntis, you have read books mm. about pregnancy, about motherhood. Tapos yun nga, yeah. napakita mo kanina, bago ka mag-homeschool, no? binasa mo yung book ni Miss Novi, ano? ang dami pang mga yes. post-it. No? Talagang mukhang binusisi mo yung libro. No? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yan. Oh, so ngayon naman, yung Homeschooling Philippines, the project wherein we ask the homeschooling teens naman write about their homeschooling adventure at ito nga is isa si Nea no na nag-contribute dito straight from them paano nga ba ang pag-homeschool sa high school so sa mga parents na katulad mo Mami Tin will this be a big help for you 
First of all, uh, Nida, I'm truly thankful sa iyo. Sobrang, sobrang thankful ako at naisip ko si Anya. In-invite mo siya to be one of the authors dito na uh, it's written by teens, co-authored by teens, and of course, ikaw talaga yung nag-spearhead nito. Maraming salamat. Uh, isa ka rin naman kasing author, di ba? At tapos, mompreneur ka pa, entrepreneur. So, um, this is the first. Anya is proud of this book. Uh, marami na nag-order. Oo. Hindi pa lang nagbabayad. <laughs> Ganun na. Anyway, bayad na kayo. Oo. So, isa siya sa mga sumulat. And uh, dito ni-reveal niya kung paano na bago ng homeschool ang buhay niya no, as a teen at buhay rin namin. So, with your indulgence, I'll just quickly read. And then, there are other stories of other teens ha, who wrote and contributed sa book. So, I would like to invite you also to order the book. Uh, it's really worth it. It's a good gift. It's a nice gift. It's a perfect gift, no? Para doon sa mga uh, homeschooling moms, lalo na kung teenager na ang inyong mga anak. Iba kasi ang mga teenagers. Yes. So, yun na. Uh, just let me know, Nida, kung pwede ko nang i-share yung yes. sinulat niya. Yes. Go ahead, Mami Teen. Yes, go ahead. Ayan. Okay. So, welcome to my humble homeschool, Secrets of Successful Homeschooling Teens, forward by Bo Sanchez. And of course, eto, si Miss Nida De Los Reyes, ang pinaka-main editor. Uh, editor and ano ba, needs... Uh, all around. <laughs> all around. <laughs> Go all around. So, ito na. A life changed because of homeschooling by Anya Babaw. Uh, this is Anya speaking now, no? For me, being homeschooled was initially an unwelcome adventure. I used to wonder why people enjoyed learning at home when being surrounded by their peers every day instead seemed more fun. I have gone through my fair share of tough life experiences, but in 2017, my mental health and stability came crashing down bit by bit. I forgot how to handle most of my problems and resorted to shielding myself from all of my peers the following year. In the beginning, I wanted to give homeschooling a try because it seemed like a fresh new start for me and a way for me to relax a bit more. I joined the CFA ninth grade class in the middle of the school year, so it was difficult for me to catch up. Kasi transferi siya, transferi siya, guys. Thankfully, I managed to pull through in the end and it made me feel accomplished. Homeschooling made me feel proud of myself. Homeschooling allowed me to have more time to reflect on myself and my personal goals, something that I was too busy to do when I was in traditional school. The Freedom Academy program of CFA that has been wonderful so far uh, helped me to see more potential in myself than I have ever seen before. I managed to unlock all the confidence that I somehow lost because I was able to focus on my inner growth. It was quite an enlightening experience. I'm aware that a lot of people may have misconceptions about what it is like to be a homeschooled person. I think being encouraged to work on your passions and goals is a beautiful thing. It is what will mold you to be a person people look up to. Instead of merely passing exams you have crammed on and did not even feel motivated to properly study about, there need, to not, there need not be a single traditional way of learning because acceptance of non-traditional and brilliant ideas is what will help us all move forward. I hope to do a lot more in the future that, with what I have learned from homeschooling, such as learning how to properly interact with people from all walks of life and being able to relate with different personalities, morals, and characteristics. One of the most noteworthy things I learned is that there are many disagreeable people in this world. But what matters is how you choose to respond to them and deal with them. Homeschooling has reminded me during my reflections that even if it is a difficult at times, I need to be a bigger person. I would never have gotten the chance to think deeply about what I want to do with my life had I still been in a traditional school. I hope that there are other students and former homeschooling students out there who can understand the way I feel and relate with my experience. I hope we have all been enlightened in some form, got the chance to let our own goals we're most passionate about lead us to where we want to be. I hope that some parents who were confused at first are now more educated on the topic of homeschooling after reading this article. I'm sharing my feedback with utmost authenticity and praise for how much homeschooling has done for this generation, especially for those who are in a continuous struggle with their own mental health. I think it is important to note that teachers need to be understanding of their students' situations and try not to enforce very strict deadlines. Eh, sinasabi ko sa'yo, napipressure si Anya sa deadlines dati that would possibly make them uncomfortable and really upset. 
The teachers that I've met during my homeschooling experience so far have been fairly understanding, especially when I needed more time to work on the projects they have assigned me to do. I know a lot of teenagers and people in general need acceptance, compassion, and understanding. There shouldn't be an exception when it comes to schoolwork. I continue to look forward to all the possibilities of what is to come next in my journey. I know there's much more I'm capable of doing, and I know my homeschooling program will continue to help me find out what exactly I can do to help others in need. I'm lucky to have the opportunity to be part of something that has so much potential. I'm blessed for this chance to further inspire people with my words and all the things I have learned because I decided to try homeschooling. Wow. Yeah. Grabe. Written by, by Anya. My Ang galing. So how do you feel, Mami T, na yung, yung thoughts niya, yung feelings niya, nandito talaga yung nilabas niya, you as a parent, parang ako nga, na parang backseat lang, parang sobrang nakaka-proud siya nung nabasa ko yung article niya. Alam mo, nakakatuwa. Kasi nandun si Anya na hindi siya natakot na i-share sa buong mundo at sa lahat na magbabasa ng book na ito that she went through a uh, crisis no, sa mental health. And that's one of the reasons nga why we had to homeschool her. Kasi nga, uh, nabuli siya sa school. Um, people couldn't understand what she was going through. Tapos, uh, nagkaroon siya ng heartache. Kasi doon niya na-experience yung first heartache. Eh, no? Na naging sabay-sabay yung difficulty sa academics, and then yung teachers niya couldn't understand why she couldn't get the hard subjects. Nahirapan siya eh sa math. Kasi yung teacher, syempre alam mo na, teacher eh, alam niya na yung tinuturo niya. 20, 25 years na niyang tinuturo. So kahit nakapikit yung mata niya, naintindihan niya. Yeah. Eh si Anya needs more time to process the subject, especially math, especially math or physics or anything na may kinalaman sa numbers. And then, the teacher, instead of encouraging her, uh, would even tell her, ba't ikaw lang di nakagets? <laughs> ano pa, defensive pa, na bakit si Anya lang hindi nagets yung kanyang tinuro? Ano ba yun? Yung parang imbis na tulungan siya at sabihin na, okay, um, I'll teach you, I'll explain it more, maybe I'm, I talk too fast or something. Parang, inano pa siya, dinown pa siya. Oh. So, hindi lang yun yung teacher na ganun, di ba? Siguro na stress din siya dahil ang laki nila, ang, ang laki ng classroom, di ba? Ang dami mm-hmm. nilang tinuturuan. Yes, yun so. yun eh. Na walang time yung teacher, hindi siya obligated to teach you, teach every student, no? On a one-on-one basis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Na ang homeschooling mom, eh dapat na ginagawa kasi one-on-one, homeschooling na nga eh. Yun ang wala sa traditional school. That is why si Anya, when she, her mental health was already suffering, affected na eh. Dahil nga, ganun yung sistema, di ba? Hindi ka naman iwan on one ng teacher mo. Hindi nila obligasyon yun eh. She felt inadequate. Eh, she felt na something's wrong with me. Bobo ba ako? Parang ganun. Ay, naku, sabi ko, that's a sign. Yung iniisip na ni Anya na, na, na stupid siya, that's the term, na stupid siya, sabi ko, I gotta get her out of it of that school. Mm-hmm. Kasi ganun na yung effect sa kanya ng mga teachers na making her feel stupid. I'm not saying na intentional yun ha, mm-hmm. on the part of the teacher. Mm-hmm. Pero yun lang yung downside ng malalaking school. Diba? Hindi ka, hindi to, wag mo asahan na tututok sa needs ng anak mo. That's right. So, nung na-apekto na yung mental health ni Anya, hindi na siya masaya, umiiyak siya after school sa sobrang stress, sa sobrang ini sa sarili, hindi niya mag-get yung subject, mababa Uh-oh. yung grade niya. Ay, naku, sabi ko, that's not the school for you anymore. You gotta get out of there. Diba? So, sabi namin, yun na nga. And then, enter fame. Sinabi ko kay Novi, nag-open up ako, Novi, kasi homeschool yung mga anak niya. Um, tulong naman, what is homeschooling about? Ayun na. So, we pulled her out of the, the, the big school. And then, eto na. Look at Anya. She's a happier person now. Diba? Mas, nag, uh, ano siya, mas productive siya. Dahil doon. So, yan. So, Anya opened her heart dito sa book na ito about how, how homeschooling has changed her positively. Has changed her positively. So, go get the book, guys, and read the stories of the other teens who are successful in homeschooling. Kudos to all the parents. Diba? Siyempre, Saludo ko sa lahat ng mga parents ng mga homeschool teens na to. 
That's right. So hindi lang mga uh, mummies, no. Syempre ang mga daddies natin, no. Saludo din kami oh. sa inyo, no, na nagturo yes. sa ating mga homeschooling teens na magsulat. Correct. And isa lang si Anya, no. Marami sila na sobrang brave nila to share their personal story kasi syempre mga yeah. teens, so, 'di ba, yung mga hormones nila minsan hindi natin maintindihan, but they were very brave yeah. enough to share their insights, their failures, their successes, their journey, no? Para mag-guide din kayo sa mga, pag, yeah. sa pag-homeschool ninyo, especially sa high school, no? And yeah. uh, we hope, dear parents, no, that this sharing will reinforce your determination and help you regain your outlook, no? May you be motivated in your calling as a homeschool mom or dad, no? As you learn to to look past the fear and look to the Lord. And my last words to the parents listening to us is that, Um, homeschooling is hard, parents. No, I'm not going to lie. Mahirap po. There will be times that you're tired. You get tired of homeschooling. Mag-aaway kayo ng mga anak nyo. Mahirapan kayo sa ibang subject and so on. But I and Mommy Teen continue to do it. Why? Because even though homeschooling is hard, it is so worth it po. Worth it talaga. Homeschooling in high school could actually be the best years of your homeschooling journey. No, Sabi nga ni Mary Kay Clark, Homeschooled children benefit the community because they are not shaped by peers but by parents. No, so Mami Tin, do you have any last words sa ating mga mom she's out there? Parang nasabi ko na yung puro last words ko. <laughs> <laughs> Siguro na lang, you can do it! <laughs> Again, to the mom, she's and daddies out there, you can do it! Uh, I am cheering for you. Kami ni, kami ni mommy needs, we're cheering for you. Yung mga doubts na yan, cast them aside. Entertain them for a while and then cast them aside. Kasi there will always be uh, no, a support group helping you all the way sa pag-homeschooling. You will never be alone, di ba? That's so, right. Uh, Oh, so if you feel that your child is perfect for homeschooling, go ahead and embrace homeschooling. Kanya-kanya tayo dyan, but if you feel that your child is not ready for homeschooling, kasi mas happy siya sa traditional homeschooling or blended learning, alam mo yun, then go ahead. Huwag nyo rin i-force ang homeschooling sa anak nyo. Kasi I have a friend ha, na yung isa, homeschooled, isang anak niya, pero yung isa pumapasok sa school. Kasi mas gusto na, sa Amerika to guys, sa Amerika to. Kasi mas gusto ng anak niya na babae na nasa school at nagpo-football with other kids. Ganun na ngayon sa Amerika eh. Pwede na ulit pumasok yung mga bata, meron silang ganun. They, they play football na and all. Dito sa atin, iba syempre yung usapan. Pero yung isa niyang anak na may pagka-artist, mas uh, introvert, homeschooled, nasa bahay lang. Kasi happy kid siya pag nasa bahay. So again, know your kid and talk about it. Talk about it. Kailangan siya rin may readiness to embrace homeschool. Wag na wag niyong pipilitin ang anak niyo kung sa tingin niya hindi rin siya meant for homeschool. But give it a try. Give it a try. Talk to your kid. Pag una, close siya sa idea, di ba? Sa homeschool, hindi siya open sa idea. Usap kayo. Uh, ano, sabihin mo na, try lang natin anak. Kahit one month, try lang natin. Kung hindi ka talaga masaya, hindi talaga mag-work for you, then okay lang, at least pinagbigyan mo. Di ba? You gave it a try. So yun lang, walang pilitan guys. <laughs> Pero pag ayun na, pumayag na yung bata, tapos meron kayong mga struggles along the way, minsan wala sa mood yung anak, di ba? Wala sa mood yung anak, huwag niyong pilitin, magkakaroon din yan ng mood. Walang pilitan kung baga, huwag niyong ipipressure kasi magkakaroon siya ng negative experience sa homeschooling. Right. Eh di ba, ang goal nga natin is magustuhan niya yung homeschooling eh. Pero kung feeling niya parang si Hitler ka, tapos may reason din siya na huwag mag-homeschool. <laughs> Hindi nag-work yung homeschool. ba diba? So dapat gano'n. Tatanungin mo siya, do you need help? Ah, gano'n na. Gano'n lang. Huwag sila, no mami, I, I, ano, let's, let's respect that pag ayaw niya magpatulong sa inyo. Huwag kayo ma-offend na parang hindi na kailangan ng anak ko. Hindi na kailangan ng anak ko. I'm a bad mom. Then, no, huwag gano'n. Yeah. It's all about you. Diba? Pag independent ng anak nyo, independent, matawa kayo dahil independent yes, siya. Yes. You, are teach- you are teaching them to be independent. Hindi yung malaki na, Diyos ko, nakadikit pa sa saya ng nanay. <laughs> Hindi gano'n. Mas maging masaya kayo na independent yung anak nyo. ba? Diba? So, always have that, ano, yung para evaluation, how are you doing? Okay ba? Nagusto mo ba yung homeschool? How else can I help you? How else can I, can I improve? Always make them part of the solution or part of the process. Lagi nyo tatanungin. Hindi yung masusunod. 
ay nako, sinasabi ko siya kung kayo dictator. <laughs> Ganun eh. Para kay si Hitler, nako, mag- hindi magiging pleasant yung experience na mga anak niyo sa inyo, di ba? So, That's much right. as we want to be in control, much as we want to be in control of things, mommies and daddies, let us admit na iba yung mga anak natin sa atin. They're still a different person. So, we have to respect yung difference nila sa ating mga magulang. That's right. And just a short uh, just a short story, mm-hmm. no? Um, kasi ako, dalawa rin yung anak ko. Yung isa, sa panganay, si Jaden, siya yung nag-homeschool. Yung aking bunso, nasa traditional school siya dahil nasa science school siya. So, hindi, hindi porket yung isang bata ay eh, homeschool mo, yung mga kapatid niya eh, homeschool mo na rin. No? Uh, tama yung sinabi ni Mami Tin that you have to talk to your child, eh mas gusto nung anak ko na nasa science school siya, yung bunso, si Lexine. So I Oo. respected her decision. So sige, nandun siya. At maganda nga yun, Mami Tin, di ba? Kasi yeah. ano din ang ang tuition doon. <laughs> Maliit din, di ba? Libre din. So oh, at least nakatipid oh, ako. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pero yun ang yes. gusto niya. So I respected her decision. Tapos nung kami naman nagsimula ni Jaden nung grade 7, ganun din. Sinabi ko sa kanya na let's just try it for one year. One year yung usapan namin. Mm. Kung hindi mo mas ma, ano, magustuhan, eh din, de, balik tayo sa traditional traditional school. Which we did. Nung grade 7, nag-homeschool kami. Uh, dahil sinabi nga namin na itry namin. Nung grade 8, siya yung nagsabi na, Mami, I think I need to go back to traditional school. Eh di syempre, kahit na ayaw, na ayaw na ayaw ko, parang mangyak-ngyak ako nung, bakit? Oh, parang oh. mali ba yung pag-homeschool ko? Pero syempre, uh, I have to respect his decision as well. So sige, kahit na ma- masakit sa kalooban ko, bumalik kami sa traditional school. However, nung grade 9 kami, Mami Teen, siya na ang nagsabi yeah. sa akin na, Mami, I think I need to go back to homeschool. Kasi madami na siyang oh, experience sa traditional school na hindi na siya makarelate. Parang puro oh. mga l- girls na yung pinag-uusapan. So, hindi siya makarelate sa ganun. So, siya na mismo nag-decide. So, grade 9 oh. hanggang ngayon, incoming grade 12 siya. So, nag-homeschool kami. So, ganun mga parents. Mm-hmm. So, you have to really talk to your child. Hindi pwedeng laging tayo ang nasusunod as parents. no Naalala ko yung sinabi ni Brother Bo na we wear different hats no at different Uh, ages of our child. So, minsan kailan yeah. nating mag-step back no? and let them Oo. do their thing. Oo. Yun. So, ang ganda, di ba? Ang ganda rin ng sharing mo. So, tama yun. Step back and let them do their thing. Tama. Kaya nga tayo mga ano, taga-guide lang. Next, di ba? Taga-guide lang. Hindi yung parang papasok tayo sa loob ng mga ano, lang mga anak natin kasi popossess na natin sila. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ganun. Huwag <laughs> yung ganun na parang gusto mo nang pasukin yung anak mo para i-possess mo sila para maging ikaw. <laughs> Hindi. Iba-iba, di ba? Different folks, different strokes. That's Tama right. Yun. That's right. Yes. And again... Pero above all, enjoy nyo pa rin. Ah. Enjoy yes. nyo pa rin yung homeschooling kasi talagang it's really time well spent with your kids That's while right. you homeschool. Enjoy mm-hmm. and don't forget to pray, no? Kasi para may yeah. guidance. And again, thank you for joining us, mga ka-homeschool. See you on the next episode. And Miss Teen, thank you so much for this time. Dami namin natutunan sa iyo. Uy, talaga? Ako marami natutunan <laughs> sa inyo. <laughs> Pero it, it is indeed an honor and a pleasure. Thank you, Nida, for allowing me to share my experience and two cents worth, no? As a homeschooling mom, uh, maybe someday uh, in your next sessions, try naman natin si Julius, no? Sa yes. Father's Day. Yes, ano, yes. Father's, Father's, Father's Month mo, no? Sa June. Uh-uh. June, yes. June is uh-uh. the month for, for Father's naman. Point of view naman ng mga tatay kasi, di ba, akala nila yung mga role ng tatay maliit lang sa pag-homeschool. Ay, sa amin hindi. Malaki ang ano malaki ang role din ni Julius sa pag-homeschool ng aking mga anak pag wala sa mood si nanay pag uh, stressed ako or pressure Julius stressed ako ikaw muna <laughs> ako din ganyan siya yung, ma- oh, siya yung ma- ako Julius stressed ako ikaw muna mag-translate <laughs> ng kanyang araling panlipunan i-translate mo na in English ganoon that's so, right ano, may, may, meron din bigyan din natin ng spotlight ang mga tatay sa mga susunod thank Correct. you Nida thank really, you so really much Appreciate. Okay, thank Sobra, you so I, much. I know, I know you know what I'm going through. No, that we have a death in the family, but thank you for cheering me on and giving me this this time to talk about my experience as a homeschooling mom. Salamat Nida. Salamat God bless din. Nida. God bless. And uh, yan na mga homeschool no. Abangan niyo na ang ating Father's Day episode. <laughs> si Papu naman. So again, thank you everyone for joining mga homeschool. See you on the next episode. God bless everyone. Bye. God bless. Happy homeschooling.